Last time we talked about the patient, right? A respect, a royalty. We talked about those. Now in martial art, everything based on patient. Without patient, you cannot develop nothing. So the patient is foundation of your mind control. Okay? Understand that patient? Now I I have seen the basic foundation of the mental development is based on patient. How come? Because the foundation you want to develop your mind is so stabilized. No one can pull your thought away from what you want to do. That we call mind control. Okay. To develop that ability, you have to be very patient. Because you you don't have the patience, you don't go through all the difficulty to develop that point. Anytime something fancy happens in your mind, they throw you away. You have to start from beginning again. That means you lose the focus. Patient is hold your temper for a moment to see what's going on. Like in a fight situation come out. Okay. If you have no patience, you throw a temper right there, you are asked for trouble. But if the fighting situation come out, you have patience, hold on your temper, don't blow it yet. You just step back a little bit, now you see the whole big pictures. Now you have time to decide so what should I do. Any question about this? No question? Okay. Yeah. Then you, you develop this by doing the first form. By its first form, yes. See what I'm saying? That's how you mm -hmm. get patient. You got to be patient to do it in the first Yeah. Form, if you have patient to one hour of the form, yeah. you will develop the kind of patient. Anything you can hold on to. Remember that. That's why the foundation of the serum talks very important. I tell you the truth in my story, okay? When I do to learn when I was young, I was 13. Not Many 13 years of age people can last that long, I tell you, because they have no patience. Right. That time when I go to school, and not too many people, well, one or two, I just do the form for two hours long, almost every day. Wow. Just do the form like that, two hours. Because the, the class from four to six, uh, if there's no one there only by myself, I just do the form. I tell you the result. I, I don't know if you guys have that experience or not. Because if you do it long enough, you don't even know what you're doing. You just do it so natural, so relaxed. You don't even know your times out there. You just keep staying in that position for a long, long time. You don't feel tired. And you feel light. Okay? And suddenly, some, your mind opens up. Something you never thought before, it comes to your mind. I don't know then you have that experience or not. And that's why your, your wisdom open up to learn. Your, your self-conscious start to learn. Only you, you can calm your mind for that long. That's called meditation. Yeah. Anyone have that experience yet? Oh, you guys still a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> but that is important. Yeah, try it. <clears throat> I'm not lying to you. Okay. If you can do the form at least an hour okay, by yourself at home, no one bother you, you will feel have some other kind of feeling inside you. you feel, that feeling is so comfortable. You cannot ex, uh, uh, ex, ex, explain to people how you feel. And the thought come out, is, you never know that, but suddenly you understand that. That's very important. But that's my story. Don't worry. Tell me your story when you have it. Okay, now I want you guys to test it out. Now, watch me first, okay? Now, when I stand like this, I just straight on knee, knee, okay? Now, you feel, look aside with your front revolver. You feel I'm standing straight, right? But this position is not controllable. Because look at my way all the way down to my heel. And then go to uh, the sideways, look at sideways. Yeah. I'm strict down, look like I'm strict, but I have no control. But if I bend my knee, sink my knee, look at my body, sink my body, just move a little bit. Now I'm put the weight evenly on the bottom. Okay. You understand what I mean? Yeah. 
the way you move yourself is important. Look at sideways. I, I don't put my body forward like this or backward like this. I just keep the body vertically straight. I relax my knee, I vertically move forward a little bit, move for backward a little bit vertically. That's why you feel, okay? Now, for me, I'm straight. You feel uh, my waist on the hill. I'm straight. Now, when I relax my knee, my body goes straight vertically forward. Now I got. That's a basic stand in the Siulum Tao teach you. Yeah. How important is it to have your feet slightly turned in or straight? You know, what? What? Look, the difference yes. If I could pull this leg straight, I sing like this, my butt stick out. When my butt stick out, that means I cannot pull my body for, uh, lean forward. If I put body and the leg together, I have to tuck in the hip. In order to tuck in naturally, my toes have to point in, become a triangle. Then uh, when I tuck in naturally, when I move the knee, my body move by the knee. But if I point out, I move my knee, bang down, my body keep in the same position. I cannot move forward and backward. Because that becomes two piece. Okay? Understand that? Yeah. That's important. That's why Wing Chun stand call the knee go in, sink in. Okay? Do not emphasize the bend in. We are not bending in. We relax in. You understand that, Ten Sang No. Because one thing move, everything move. Uh, give me the, that thing. Ten Sang means if one part of your body move, everything you move. Now, that is my spine. That's my spine. I hold it without moving. My hand here. If my hand move, what happened? Everything move. Okay, don't matter what direction. Everything move. Okay, all the structure moving. That's why that could can with this structure. But if I don't hold my spine like this, why I move like this, they move the spine, nothing move. Okay, that is not tensegrity. That could yin and yang. Yin and yang have one part of your body solid, lock it, one part is movable. Now you have the tensegrity structure. Moving together, but by the time you jump, they don't move this one, they move this one. They drop the forearm only. That's why that is no tensegrity structure. When you do it, like then look at this motion, I move together. Okay, they all move together. Now, if I just relax the, without the muscle, I can move the hand so smoothly. Okay, I, that's my hand. I can move so smooth. But if the muscle, I cannot move the hand so smooth. Because I'm tightening. Okay, that's why you see Wing Chun development. Think about this. I want to develop good Wing Chun, natural motion. Work on the mo motion first. Don't work on the power. Just know how to move. Just know how to move your hand. I want to stick in a punchy boom, motion only. I'm not going to bah like that. That is muscles. When you stick your hand, I'm doing like this, right? If I just the motion, he can hard for him to, uh, to block. And also, uh, easy for me, I can throw in easy. See, I just use motion. I don't use muscle. If I use muscle, what happens? Boom, I stop right there myself. I cannot keep going. Because the muscle stop my motion. If I develop only a motion form, I can throw it so easy. By motion only. Okay? That's why you have to develop how to move quick, how to move naturally, how to move fast, like that. Then forget the muscles. Muscle is a big enemy if you don't know how to use it. If you know how to use it, muscle is your number one friend. That's why in Wing Chun, don't Focus on hitting people when you develop your skill. Skill is not hitting people. The skill is learn how to hit people. Everything is two way, I tell you before, right? Power, one go out, one backward, opposite force. If one come in, one go out, opposite force. Always like that. Do nothing, I just punch, then just go out. Then you learn the whole thing. You won't get 100% of power. This is like a basic punch, when I punch like that, I, I tell you guys, the way of square body, what's the purpose? I punch, I square body, this way I go out, my soul pull back. Square body. This shoulder controlling the power going up. That means I snap the ring chakra. Right? Then I don't punch like this. That 
both and no help each other. Okay, I punch like this, I punch like that. The punch has no power. If I like, think about this, if I just look at my upper body, I do like this, just a hand. But think about like if I want a lot of pulling belt, if I'm pulling belt my shoulder, the power there, you can snap it. But that's a, a development procedure. You have to step by step understand what you're doing, make it work. No one can. Now I tell you how to do it, but I cannot make you do it. You want to do it right? You have to practice it. I open the Wing Chun door for you now. You want to get all the treasure inside Wing Chun? You go inside the door, burn it, take it out, discover it by yourself. No one can think, take it out for you. If they can take it out, they give it, don't give it to you. <laughs> okay? Okay, well, time goes fast. And uh, next time we could continue. Remember, we talk about this. Uh, from here on, we keep going.